What is the photoelectric effect? The photoelectric effect is the observation that if you shine electromagnetic radiation of above a certain frequency onto a metal surface, electrons are freed from it. What is the frequency of light required to make the photoelectric effect happen? The frequency needed varies from metal to metal. Each metal has its own characteristic frequency. What do we call the energy of the photons with just a high enough frequency to make the photoelectric effect happen? The energy is called the work function of the metal. It is given the symbol phi and it is measured in joules. How can we observe this photoelectric effect? You can only see what happens easily if you enclose the metal in a vacuum and attract the electrons away from the metal using an electric field. Why must the metal target be enclosed in a vacuum? If you did not enclose the metal in a vacuum, the emitted electrons would just ionize the air and you couldn't measure the effect. How can you pull the electrons away from the metal once they have been freed? You can do this by making the metal target the cathode of a set of electric plates. Once released, the electrons are attracted to the positive plate and provide a current through the photoelectric tube. You should be able to sketch a diagram of the apparatus used to show the photoelectric effect and mark on it all of the principal parts of the apparatus. You should clearly label the vacuum and the cathode and anode. The cathode is the metal target. The incident radiation is made up of photons of electromagnetic energy. They are quanta of energy, little packets of energy. The electrons either absorb the whole photon or reject it. They can only absorb it if it is of a high enough energy to overcome the attraction of the metal lattice. That is, to overcome the work function of the metal. An ammeter is included in the circuit to measure the current that flows when the electrons are moving from the cathode to the anode. The current value can be used to work out how many electrons are being released each second. This is the end of the first vid clip on the photoelectric effect. I want you now to review the material on this video before you proceed to vid clip 2. You will find all of the notes relating to this on my cyberphysics site. I hope this has been helpful.